what a prophetic song that the Lord has brought to us. I pray that you will realize that you ought to pray that prayer by the hour, by the minute. The world needs God, but Nigeria within the world needs God more than ever before. The storms of life have torn our hearts into two. We need God to rescue us. How can a nation that is blessed with there is no state in Nigeria that is not blessed with abundance of mineral resources. Uranium, we have it. Lithium, all the rich minerals of the world. Lithium is now gold, much more than gold. We have it in Nigeria. That's what's powering all your iPhones, all the batteries and all what have you. It's been mined in Nigeria illegally. We are so fixated on oil, 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 oil. Neglecting the so many other abundance of God that he has put under the belly of our nation. The leadership vacuum that God needs to fill. Can I have an amen? We started burdened by the things and happenings in our nation last Thursday. The God factor in leadership. That's the space that is missing. No matter how skillful you are, no matter how competent you are on the outside, if the God factor is missing, every of those competence will amount to nothing. If we do all you can do it. You'll be as if, what are we even doing? Because the God factor is missing. Psalm 22 verse 28 is the governor of all the nations of the earth. And if you don't invite him to come and rule and reign, you are wasting your time. You can consult all the marabouts, you can consult all the babalawos, you can bury people, you can do all manners of stuff. It will amount to nothing. Nigeria is not going to get it right until a man that is ready to submit to the Lord and allow God to rule and reign gets there. There's nothing we can do. Can I have an amen?